Governor McKee has just signed two bills this morning putting new protections from gun violence into law. They're drawing lines in the sand on where guns can be carried and on some gun purchases as well. Anita Buffoni joining us live at the State House in Providence with the details. Hi, Patrick. Well, all of the top players in state government are at this bill signing that just wrapped up a short time ago. As you said, the two bills were just signed into law by Governor Dan McKee just a few minutes ago. Now, the uh, speakers here all pointing to recent shootings, both in Rhode Island and statewide, as to evidence is why these types of bills are needed. Now, these measures, measures are being called common sense. The first two would create a statewide ban on straw purchases of guns. That's where someone buys a gun and gives or sells them to someone who can't legally get a firearm on their own. The second bill would ban people except school security and retired law enforcement from bringing guns on school grounds. Now, these pieces of legislation were among several others before the General Assembly. These two both passed by the House and Senate. Now, take a listen to what was being said at the bill signing that wrapped up a short time ago. It makes sense to create laws that keeps guns out of the hands of people who cannot and should not possess one. It makes sense to create laws that bans guns on school property and on school buses. Now, Second Amendment advocates have previously said earlier this year they are against all of the gun safety bills that are before the General Assembly. They are calling on the governor to instead put resources in inner cities to help prevent youth from resorting to gun violence. Now, I will have more on this story coming up at 4 o'clock on 12 News Now. For now, live at the State House, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.